Hello, everyone. Hope everyone's having a great day. I uh, hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving, or if you was, don't celebrate Thanksgiving, just an overall good day. Um, let's check out the garden. This is Madge the Gardener. If, you, if this is your first time on the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're returning back, welcome back. I'm a teacher, a wife, a daughter in Northeast Florida. Don't mind a little situation I have over here. I don't know what's going on, but let's check out our garden. Yep, here, take a look over here. I believe we have some um, some lavender. And I forgot what is this one over here. Note to self, I should have. I think that's kale. I'm not too sure. But this little lettuce is growing very nicely. I know this is kale. And this is the uh, cabbage, which is a late flat Dutch. Oh, yesterday was great. We kind of had Thanksgiving at the house. Uh, nice and relaxing. Kind of watched some TV. So I enjoyed it. Now I'm just relaxing. This is the, have some Paris Island um, romaine lettuce and some red leaf. And I have done some trimmings of this already. So just taking a look. It also has some onions in here. So I can actually do another one. I don't know what to deal with this one is. I have to figure that part out. Come take a look over here. We have some spinach. These are the little ones here. I did some cuttings actually of that. So that's growing, popping up pretty well. These are the burgundy bush beans that every time I want to try to pull them out, I see bush beans growing. So I don't really know. The leaves don't look that great, I'll be honest with you. But I'm about to pluck off some of these leaves, but we still have flowers. Um, it was very cold, very cold uh, today. I guess it was in starting the 50s and 40s for bush beans. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, don't know what I'm going to do. But these are the cauliflowers. So these are the ones that I actually um, did a transplant. So they're looking pretty good. And over here, some bush beans. Let me see if I can find. Here's some flowers. And if you can kind of take that off. You see it right there. That's the beginning of a bean. And these, again, these are the royal burgundy bush beans. Let's take a look over here. Oh, y'all, take a look. These are the marigolds. Which I'm surprising because normally they are warm weather. But these things still kicking it. And I'm going to let them kick it. <laughs> Over here, we have broccoli leaves. I'm just going to check to see underneath. See anything's growing underneath there. And someone actually was telling me that I can actually, you can actually eat the leaves. I don't see. You see in the middle? Something's trying to pop up. I have some over here. Now, these are not going to get as big because I did not spread them out big enough uh further apart enough for that so but at least we'll get something this is the watham 29 broccoli which is supposed to be good for my area i'm in zone 9a northeast florida it's over here then we have some blue lake bush beans which i've been kind of harvesting off as it goes that's a stumpy <laughs> So I'll take a look and see. And I'm still getting some bush beans off of this. But again, the leaves don't look that great. And I really feel like I need this bed for the things that are coming down the pike. Like the pak choy, toy choy, and um, 
and the lettuces and things like that. I'm not sure I'm going to harvest this one. I like them nice and tender. This little. And I'm just... Harvesting some that I see here. Uh, let the, mm, I'll take this one. And I've seen some really long ones, the ones I didn't, <laughs> I didn't know it was there. So as we transitioned from the bush, Blue Lake, to over to the Royal Burgundy. Check these out. Come on, Leaf. And these actually get very lo long if you leave them on there. But again, I like when I get them about this length. And yeah, if you could take a look, do you see? Craziness. Craziness. Some down here. I'm gonna leave that one alone. We have some little ones over there. Check this out. We got some over here. I'm gonna take this. We have some down here. We have some over here. Jeez. As you can see, not the best looking leaves, so I'm just gonna pluck these off. I thought the frost that we had would just kinda freeze them out, but apparently not. Take this one. Take this one. Let's see over here. Take this one. Now, when you cook these, they actually turn green. But when they grow, it's beautiful purple. I have some more over here. What do I have over here? Yeah, I'll, I'll take this one. And as I take off more, more seem to be growing. So these are my Tokyo bunching onions. I'm actually gonna water these. Oh, hold on. I need to see this one here. And that's what happens. Sometimes they just hide. So you kind of have to lift up the plant. See, see how long that one is? I'll put that in my palm. And I didn't really get to see this one, but these are the Tokyo Long Bunching Onions. And I don't know what to deal with these. I never grew these before, but I think some of them might be too close together. And then I heard you're supposed to kind of clip them to encourage their growth. So I'm going to try to do that. But it doesn't help that I have this big old plant over here. So I'm going to try to lean this off. Whoa, look at that one down there. That's why you guys got to really, when you have these bush beans... Note to self, I will be definitely planting the, these n next next year. But I'll also be spacing them out just a little bit better. As you can see, these things are loaded. And they might not get that big towards, uh, you know... If I just leave them, just to leave them. Um, but I will definitely grow these next year. 
the random broccoli plant. I don't know how this broccoli seed get over here, y'all, but it traveled. Then we come over here to this plant. This is the blue, blue lake. And it has, I'm actually thinking about taking these out. I'll take this one. Even though it's still producing, not as producing as the other one. And again, I can really so use the garden space right now. So that may be a termination tomorrow of taking some of these out. And then I'll just plant them again. We have them over here. A marigold. Blue Lake. We have, we have one over here. I'm going to call it Stomp Stomp. And as often as you pick them, the better that they said, the better the plant will grow. So, again, I like to pick them when they're about here. I know some people like, well, let it get bigger. Again, these are widows. And then we're back over to the broccoli. Again, this broccoli will not get any, like, super big heads, I don't think, because I crowded them out. But I thought I spaced them properly. I guess I didn't. What's this? Oh, that's right, that's Stumpy. We're just going to take Stumpy. So, yeah. These are the plants I pulled yesterday, and that is my pineapple that's looking sad and pathetic. So, I got to figure out what type of stuff is eating that, because it wasn't looking that horrible. Let's take a look over at our radishes um these are the all american uh select winners uh these are um bell cherries or cherry bells and take a look at that <laughs> this is a radish oh let me see y'all oh, look over here and I think I planted them too close together, actually. Even though I thought I planted them a good space apart. And these are about, as they said, 25 days. And I think I planted these. Oh, yeah. I planted these the 2nd of November. So I don't want to pull them out yet. That's when I planted them. They probably sprouted maybe a little bit. See, I think I planted some of these. It's a little bit too bad. But look at that one. So, um, for what I was reading, yeah, see, they supposed to stay water but it's very the soil is very very moist very very moist so over here are my onions and take a look at the stock on that one and i think i'm going to clip it this one's already broke so we're just going to take that and cut that up so yeah these are the onions Y'all, smells good. Green onions in the house. We're going to clip some of these and use them tonight. And then over here is our Spanish benti um, uh, garlic. So that's kind of cool. No. Sorry, I had to say no to someone trying to figure out his way to escape. These are my, and this one's actually looking better than this one. Um, these are my uh, blueberry bushes. Um, this one's in a pot. I have to put some more soil on that one. And that one's over there is in a microphone that, uh, which is almost like a smart pot, but not really. It's, it's bootleg pot. It's not a smart pot. Um, so I actually like growing in these. 
And these are just five gallon containers from um, Firehouse Subs. Two dollars. Two dollars. Cheap. These back here are garlic. These are um, elephant garlic. And I know I got some garlic. This is garlic over here. Can't remember if this is Spanish benti or the elephant. Excuse me, that's my, that's the neighbor's dog. He ran away, y'all. That's the neighbor's dog. Oh, I forgot to show you this. I forgot I planted a lonely Paris Island. So, I don't think I need to water those um, as of yet. The radishes. Gosh, this thing smells so good. Yes, we're going to have to clip some and come out here and cut some of these. Oh, this is the collards. Um, this is the Georgia Southern. I don't know what the deal with this one is. They don't look one in doubt. Throw it out. Um, I did not grow this by transplant. This and the cabbage, I actually um, got a very good deal on them. So it was like $4. So that's about it. So let's go and take a look inside. Sorry about the barking. And we'll take a look at what is in our ground underneath that grow light. So I'm just gonna move this. So this is what underneath the grow lights, everything seemed to wanna germinate except for this one right here. So this here is the, let me get the tag for it. is the Grand Rapids lettuce, and I did this on the 24th. So that's that. Over here is the Fairy Dutch, Fairy Round Dutch Cabbage. This is the Pak Choi, Toy Choi. You see that in, in pho and or in a lot of Asian dishes. Over here is the black Simpson, seeded Simpson lettuce. And then the ones that's over there are the um, Georgia Southern collar, Creole collar. So the ones out there I have that's already transported, transported. Uh, I have that out there. So I'm pretty much excited. The only ones that I'm kind of concerned about, and I'm going to show you, are the pack choys. They, I don't want them to be linky. And I did put um, lights closer to them. So if I stand right here, and I've been raising them up. So hopefully, hopefully I can figure out what's going on with them. Because um, they're not ready yet. They, I'm just gonna pull them out like this. So they just got their seed leaves. They haven't gotten their true leaves yet. So these are not ready. So they got a they got a while to go. And as you can probably see the setup. <laughs> so I can uh <laughs> get them closer to the light. Yeah. So um hope you guys are having a great day. Um enjoy what you're doing, have a good, oh, be safe on Black Friday. Don't go crazy. And again, see you next time. This is Magic Gardener signing off. Bye. Oh, if you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button and also hit the um, the bell for all notifications when you come up with a great vid video. I'm also on Twitter as Madge the Gardener. And Instagram, Match the Gardener. So I'm starting to kind of boost up those type of social medias.
and share, like, and share with your friends and family. Bye.